Hi, I'm Captain Mike, and you're watching Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler. We've got a really exciting episode in store for you today. We're going bottom fishing. Not your typical reef fishing, but rather deep dropping in a thousand feet of water. Stick around and learn how you too can score some of these seriously wicked fish. You're watching Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler. Another one on, another one on. Oh. Absolutely awesome experience. We've got a perfectly rigged lure. We're going fishing. Deep dropping is a really awesome tactic and something I've always wanted to capture on film. It requires the use of specialized electric or power assist tackle in order to properly present baits hundreds of feet below the surface, right on the edge where the gradually sloping continental shelf transitions into the continental slope. That's where hundreds of feet of water quickly become thousands of feet of water. Fishing baits this deep is really exciting. It's like standing on the top of an 80-story building and dropping a baited rig all the way down to the ground floor. Add in powerful currents throughout the water column, and you can see why it really requires some specialized tackle in order to be consistently effective. Remember that this far below the surface, the icy cold pitch black depths are really a hostile environment. It takes a specialized type of hunter to survive in this sort of challenging world. Most of the creatures that you haul up from the deep, from 800, 1,000, 1,500 feet down, are really, really strange. Most of them look like you just pulled them out of a science fiction movie. Take our recent trip, for example. We headed offshore. We started about 10 miles offshore here where the continental shelf meets that continental slope. Of course, over on the Gulf Coast, that deep water is upwards of 100 miles off the beach. We're fortunate here in this region of the state to have access to such deep water so close to shore. Again, we're only about 10 miles off the beach and already in almost 1,000 feet. We uh, set up on a productive set of GPS coordinates that I have fished in the past, a large depression that falls off to about 800, 850 feet. Wanted to see what we were gonna find there. We get set up, we drop our baited rigs to the bottom, and as soon as we get to the bottom, boom, 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 immediately we start catching some rosies. Got our first couple of fish here, deep dropping, fishing 800, 900 feet. Looking for golden tiles, but oh, looks like we got a couple of scorpion grouper. Really, really neat fish. Ah, look at that. Ah, there's one good one right there. That one ate two baits. You ever see one of those before? Look at that, Carlos ate both baits. Really weird fish, lives right on the bottom in 800, 1,000 feet of water, structure oriented. Huge eyes, allows that fish to see in the dark. Look at a belly on that fish. Real chunky. That's a healthy one. They, they get about twice that size, but that's a decent one. That's an average one. Because it's such a cold water fish and it lives in such a cold environment way down on the bottom, it's a great eating fish. Really good white flaky meat, nice fillets. One of the best eating fish you'll ever eat. Very comparable to say snowy grouper or something to that nature. Really neat, odd. Most guys don't even know these are available here in Florida. We're gonna drop back down, see if we can catch a couple more. And these things are wicked, really, really wicked looking. They're not very big, but just strange. They've got these big eyes that allow them to see in the dark, uh, this bright orange armor, spikes all over their body, and this big mouth. They just devour anything that they can possibly catch. These things are a lot of fun. And again, you know, they're not very large, but what they lose in quality, they certainly make up for in quantity. And when you're catching these things three, four, five at a time, it's certainly a boatload of fun. So that was a great way to start our day. Florida Sport Fishing is proudly presented by Bionic Bait. Fish prefer Bionic Bait. Bruno, trusted by professionals in every ocean. Ghost, boat tracking, security, monitoring, and surveillance you can count on. Boat Insurance Florida, save up to 50% on boat insurance. Marine Survival Technologies, make safe boating your number one priority. Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, your number one resource for the latest tips, tricks, tactics, and techniques. For inshore and off, only $30 for three years. 
For immediate home delivery, log on to floridasportfishing.com. Enter promo code TV and receive a free shirt with paid subscription. When the bite's on, the last thing you want is contaminated fuel. Ethanol creates sludge, damages fuel systems, and starves engines. Protect any gasoline or diesel engine with Formula X2. Independent testing proves Formula X2 eliminates water, cleans, and lubricates. See it for yourself. For only pennies per gallon, Formula X2 provides complete protection and maximum performance for any engine. Order now at FormulaX2.com. Chaos is tragic. Chaos can be awesome. No, another one on, another one on. Three on, baby. With Chaos Fishing, it's your rod your way. Quality components and personalized service from a legendary builder equal the right rod at the right price every time. Shop online for a complete selection of serious fishing equipment. Or visit Chaos's new superstore and receive a free t-shirt with every rod purchase. Chaos Fishing Gear Matters. Frustrated fish ballyhoo top gun trolling move. That's money. Tournament winning. That is money. Oh, look at him taking it. Jets, bullets, feathers, chuggers. The most effective high-speed Wahoo lures on Earth. Handcrafted in the U.S. and sold professionally rigged. Not sure what to pull? Call for expert advice. Whoa, another one on, another one on! I troll Ballyhood lures because they work. Tired of outrageous markups? Stingray Fishing Outfitters beats all advertised prices with specials on the finest tournament winning tackle, accessories, and outdoor apparel. Operated by knowledgeable anglers with everything you need for freshwater and saltwater fishing under one roof, ready for immediate delivery. Save big. Shop where the pros shop. Shop at stingraytackle.com. So after catching a few of these rosies, I decide, you know what, let's reel them up, let's move out a little bit further to the east. We had some decent fishing, but I was really confident that I could find an area where, you know, hopefully there were some bigger fish. And I'll tell you, deep dropping, even though you're fishing hundreds, sometimes well over a thousand feet below the surface, it's just like any other sort of bottom fishing. It's all about location, location, location. You've got a fish structure. May it be a ledge, a depression, a hill, maybe some deep water rubble or even a wreck, but there has to be something there that's going to attract all of these fish to that area. You can't just go out here in the middle of nowhere, stop the boat anywhere you'd like, drop baits to the bottom, and expect that you're going to catch fish after fish. It's not going to happen. You've got to key in on particular areas. So we head out to the east just a little bit further, a little bit deeper. I think now it's over 900 feet deep to a, a bank that I have fished in the past. We drop down our baited rigs, and now it's like seriously game on. Let's put the rod, rod holder here. See if we can grab our leader, bring these up and show them to you. Oh yeah, count them baby, count them. Two, three, that's what I'm talking about. That's South Florida deep dropping right there. Look at that, just inhale that squid right in his mouth. Got monster mouth right there. All right, nice stringer. Not everybody gets a chance to catch these suckers. You got your bait back on that one. Nice. He's a, he's a giving fish. Yeah. See if we can get this guy off the hook. Your rigs hit the bottom, and immediately it's boom, 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 boom. We're just getting crushed by more of these scorpion fish. Let me get these up. There we go. A couple more black belly rose fish. There we go. Ooh, that's a good one on the bottom right there. As you can see, we've got a typical deep drop rig. Five pounds of lead. They need a lot of lead when you're fishing this deep here. We're fishing circle hook rigs, chicken rigs, deep drop rigs with four hooks. Fishing whole squid on a circle hook. It's just absolutely impossible to set the hook on these fish, so you need that circle hook. Again, just a, a five pound sash weight on the bottom. And then periodically up the line, our little droppers, 7-0 circle hooks. There's another one right there, another one right there. And there's our top one. And what's probably the most important part of this rig is that light source, that little Lingren Pittman flashing strobe. 
These fish hunt by smell, but they also hunt by sight with those large dark eyes down there. And 800, 900 feet below the surface, it's pitch black. So as that little strobe just flashes, it catches their attention, they swim in to investigate, they smell the odor of that squid, and they just jump on it. And again, that's about an average size one. Let's get him on ice, drop back down, catch a few more. It looks like Steve's got a few more on up in the bow. Nice. Good one, I'll talk to you. My second full string. Good job. That's pretty good deep dropping right there, don't you think? That's, so that's deep dropping that can't get any better. You don't have any more hooks on there. Nice. Some of that black mouth footage. And now we're hauling these things up one, two, three, four at a time. I mean, just full stringers every time you hit the bottom. And again, they don't get very big. They're only a couple of pounds. But just between the, the strange way that these fish look, the aggressiveness that they have, and, and the quantity that we were catching, it was a boatload of fun. Coming up next, pick up a few safe boating tips. But first, get yourself some of that right there. Safe boating, brought to you by the Florida Keys and Key Largo. A world away, come as you are. With the unpredictable fall season now upon us, it's more important than ever for Florida boaters to keep a sharp eye on the marine weather. Severe thunderstorms with gusty winds and dangerous sea conditions can sneak up on even the most seasoned veterans. Those of us who have been on the water long enough never take a pleasant morning with clear blue skies for granted, as we know it only takes minutes for flat calm conditions to turn fearful. In preparation of every outing, spend the necessary time studying the marine forecast and your local weather reports. Use multiple resources to establish your own prediction, and don't forget to look for distinct patterns like afternoon storms with dangerous lightning. Because conditions change often, stay informed by monitoring weather updates on your VHF, multifunction display, or handheld mobile device. Don't lose sight of the fact that a marine weather forecast is nothing more than an educated guess using various computer models incorporating multiple formulas. The truth is that your local marine weather forecast is not established by real-time reports from any one particular location, which explains why boaters often face crisp four-foot seas when NOAA reads two feet or less. Regardless of conditions or the size of your craft, a safe boater is a confident boater and one who knows his vessel and its capabilities well. Whatever you do, don't be a hot shot and jeopardize the safety of your passengers. We live in Florida. Chances are it will be beautiful tomorrow. Finally, foul weather or not, make sure your vessel is outfitted with the required safety gear. Life jackets, signaling devices, and a ditch bag with personal locator beacon are mandatory items and should always be stored within easy reach. For long-distance trips over the horizon, an inflatable life raft with life-saving supplies may prove to be priceless. Unlike yesteryear, today's safety equipment is more compact and more affordable than ever, so there is simply no excuse not to be well prepared for any emergency. Safe Boating, brought to you by the Florida Keys and Key Largo. A world away, come as you are. The secret's out. Start with brine and bite. The only brine that infuses proven bite stimulants into any rigged bait. Procure badass bait dyes are next. And bring ballyhoo to life with vibrant fluorescent colors. Seal the deal with Procure's new bloody tuna oil and watch your catch ratio soar. Inshore and offshore, Procure bait scents and badass bait dyes keep you hooked up. Find Procure at your favorite dealer or call 800-PROCURE for a free catalog. Yachtlights.com, everything marine lighting, interior and exterior. Yachtlights.com has it all at the lowest prices. Stylish recessed lights, LED strips, floodlights and deck lights, and the hottest underwater lights from as low as $199. Shop online for free shipping and weekly clearance items or visit our new showroom. When you need marine lighting, you need Yachtlights.com. If you can hear this transmission, you are part of the resistance and you are not alone. We are outnumbered but not outsmarted. We are taking Florida back in the streets, in the air, in the water, and we have infiltrated the airwaves. We know you're tired and looking for a better taste, so you must join the fight. We have the answer. It's in your DNA. DNA Energy Drink. We are the revolution. The Fish Vector Underwater Lighting System with our patent-pending sound technology will get you out of the heat and bring the fish right to you. Big, bright, 400 and 1,000 watt units will allow you to fish comfortably at night and really see the fish. 
Both the dock and portable units plug into a 110 receptacle and take just minutes to set up. Great for waterscaping, guaranteed to work on fish. Get out of the heat and into comfortable fishing with the Fish Vector Underwater Light System. Welcome back to Florida Sport Fishing. We're deep dropping here off the of southeast Florida. We're out in about 900 feet of water. Caught a, a solid, solid mess of scorpion grouper. They're often called black belly rose fish. Really frisky little fellas, absolutely delicious on the dinner table. And what they lack in quality, they certainly make up for in quantity. We're catching these fish two, three, four at a time, fishing some specialized power assist equipment. And you really need this gear to maximize on this fishery. Oh, you got a full stringer there. There we go, there we go. All right, that's the way to catch them right there. Nice. So with all of this hot and heavy action with the scorpions, I'm staying right on top of this bite. I'm using my Furuno char platter and I'm drifting over this one little one mile stretch every single time. Uh, you know, we're fishing the edge of the Gulf Stream. So we've got about three knots of current. So each drift is only maybe 20 minutes long, but every drift was very, very productive. Your baits would get to the bottom and immediately you were on two, three, four you know, just full stringers of these really wicked looking rosies. Really a lot of fun, a lot of fun. You know, there's always been a debate over electric fishing reels. If that's commercial fishing or if it's recreational fishing. You know, in my opinion, it's just a specialized tool that you use for particular circumstances. And with this power assist equipment, it's really the best of both worlds. I can use the auto feature. It looks like I got three on there. I can use the auto feature to check my bait, but when it comes time to reel up fish, I can do it manually. I'm gonna grab, here, why don't you grab the rod? I'll grab the rig. Okay. Yeah, that's a decent one. That one on the bottom. All right. Nice, dude, nice. These fish are average size, but catching them two, three, four at a time certainly makes it exciting. Nice Sweet. job, dude, nice job. So I'm thinking now, you know, this bites on, maybe we could really get lucky and catch a golden tile fish. Just a highly prized deep water predator. You know, catching a golden tile fish is one thing. Capturing one on film, that's a, a whole different story altogether. There's guys that have been out here trying to catch golden tile fish for 10 years and haven't caught a single one, yet a novice angler can go out here and go deep dropping for the very first time and catch two or three in the same day. Just the nature of, uh, of these fish. But just like you have to catch bonita to catch blackfin tuna, or you have to catch yellowtail snapper to catch mutton snapper, you've got to catch these scorpions to catch the goldens. And we were certainly in on the scorpions, so I was really, really excited about catching a golden. Does our crew strike gold? Find out right after today's rigging station. Rigging station, brought to you by Diamond Fishing Products, the most reliable monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. Deep dropping is an awesome tactic, really exciting. However, in order to achieve consistent success, anglers need to fish some specialized tackle. You watched us out there today, we were using some power assist Daiwa Tanacom bulls, matched to some custom chaos rods, really awesome equipment. However, probably the most important part of the equation was our 65 pound diamond braid, our fishing line. While super braids, super lines are not the right answer for every application, when it comes to deep dropping, when it comes to presenting baits this far below the surface, it's really the best option. There's some benefits that today's super lines have that really play a big role in this particular fishery. For starters, it's ultra, ultra thin, and that enables anglers to fish smaller, lighter reels for bigger, more powerful fish. It also enables guys to load their reels with about three times the amount of braid as compared to the same strength monofilament, another major benefit. Because braid is so thin, it also has minimal resistance in the water column to different currents, and that enables guys to achieve a proper vertical presentation. If we had a tremendous amount of scope out, a lot of line out, we'd never be able to detect those bites. In addition, unlike monofilament that stretches up to one third of its entire length, braid has near zero stretch. And that means that we can feel the most subtle strikes from more than a thousand feet below the surface. Really beneficial tool when you're deep dropping. 
Finally, it's super, super strong. You just can't break this stuff. No matter how hard you try, you can't break this stuff. So just another benefit, especially when you're hauling up 5, 10, 15 pounds of lead for more than 1,000 feet down, you need to have that strength on your side. Keep in mind, with all of the benefits that Braid has, it also has quite a few downfalls, and it is not the correct answer for every application. There are certain applications where the worst thing you can do is fish braid. But when it comes to deep dropping, when it comes to fishing baits this far below the surface, there simply is no better option. Rigging Station, brought to you by Diamond Fishing Products, the most reliable monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. When the bite's on, the last thing you want is contaminated fuel. Ethanol creates sludge, damages fuel systems, and starves engines. Protect any gasoline or diesel engine with Formula X2. Independent testing proves Formula X2 eliminates water, cleans, and lubricates. See it for yourself. For only pennies per gallon, Formula X2 provides complete protection and maximum performance for any engine. Order now at FormulaX2.com. 100, 500, 1,000. How much money are you wasting on melted ice and thawed bait? Frigid Rigid keeps ice and bait frozen for 10 days. Built to withstand everyday use, 25 sizes up to 525 quarts means there's a Frigid Rigid cooler, refrigerator, or tackle center just for you. The boat may have burnt down, but the ice and chum stayed frozen. Frigid Rigid, 800-643-1988. Or visit FrigidRigid.com for a dealer near you. Florida Sport Fishing is proudly presented by Fishing Pursuits. Visit FishingPursuits.com and go fish the planet. Unique species. Release mounts for every trophy catch. Liquid Light. See what you've been missing. EC Rider. Marine grade bean bags built for fishermen. Rodan. Precision GPS guided trolling motors. Boom. So we just got to the bottom right now in 900 feet here. And what we want to do is just keep your thumb right on the spool. This way you can let out line. Oh, there's a bite right there. Whoa. Oh, that's a good fish right there. That's a good fish. Oh, yeah, that's a good one right there. Oh, as soon as I hit the bottom, I lock it up and immediately thump, thump, thump. And I'm thinking, whoa, you know, that this isn't the sharp taps from the scorpions that, you know, we've been catching all day. This is something different. You know, this has got some weight to it. I lock up, I slowly come tight. Sure enough, circle hook does its job, and I'm in. And I'm like, whoa, man, it, this could be it. I'm slowly taking my time, I'm fighting this thing. And you know, I could tell, I'm like, this is just not these scorpion groupers here, these little black belly rose fish. This is something different. And I'm hopeful, I'm like, man, this could be, you know, this could be that golden tile. Taking my time, fighting this fish, and finally after, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes of getting this thing up almost a thousand feet, I look down, and sure enough, golden tile fish. It's a longer fish, too. Cuban, Cuban dog. That is a longer fish. That is a golden, buddy. Dude, it's a golden. It's a golden. It's a golden. It's a nice golden, it's a golden dude. Golden tile fish. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. Right there. That's what I'm talking about. I told you. Nice. Just got our golden tile. Look at that sucker, baby. That's what we wanted right there. And look at dude, look at this. Look at this. Oh man. We got a bonus. We got a bonus. Oh. We got the bonus. Look at that. Look at the colors on them. Oh. Look at that, the swivel just opened up, man. That's what deep dropping is. That's what we're looking for right there. Beautiful golden tile fish. Absolutely beautiful. Ugh. And you know, you gotta weed through these, gotta weed through these black belly rose fish here to get to that. But you keep working at it and you keep fishing, fishing hard. And that's what you're gonna catch right there. Beautiful South Florida golden tile. Dude, that's a, that's a stringer, a stringer of that fish a right there. That's a that's stringer. A stringer. That's what we're after right there. Man, you got dinner and nice golden something. tile <laughs> fish. Just an absolutely prized, prized fish here in South Florida waters. Called poor man's lobster. Super, super delicious meat. Great fish. Look at the coloration on them. Look at those gold dots. That is absolutely incredible. That's an awesome fish. Get a good look at this guy. Look at that. That is the ruler of the deep. It's got that huge mouth, little sharp, little kind of crushers right there. That fish will eat anything that it can devour in that big mouth. Certainly can't be using a hook that's too big. I mean, you can fit a 
14-0 hook in that thing. Big giant eyes, chunky belly, big blunt head, massive gills, gill rakers. So I'm totally fired up now. I look down, I've got a full stringer, two or three big rosies topped off by a nice golden tile. This fish is about 15 pounds. He's got these beautiful golden spots all over him, this big, big blunt head. And I'm thinking, mission accomplished, boy. You know, we came out here, we went deep dropping. It was just really, really successful. We managed to catch a cooler full, a really tasty scorpion. It's topped off by this highly prized golden tile fish that most anglers have never even seen. I'm like, yes, you know, this morning, this day just couldn't have gone any better. While it's certainly exciting, deep dropping is not something that you're going to do every day. It requires specialized tackle, it requires the right conditions, and it certainly requires the right mindset. However, it's a great plan B when everything else seems to be failing, and it's also a great tactic to put some really tasty fish in the boat if nothing else seems to be working. And while doing it effectively and being successful at deep dropping requires an investment in tackle, time, and preparation, when it all comes together, deep dropping can be really, really rewarding. To learn more about this exciting tactic, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up. Florida Sport Fishing. Closed captioning provided by Navimatics. Quality navigation products for your iPad and iPhone. Malaysia Gear official provider of Florida sport fishing apparel and Tropic Trailer, the largest equipment trailer dealer in Florida. Learn more about the tactics and techniques on today's show. Visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up. Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, your number one resource for the latest tips, Tricks, tactics, and techniques for inshore and off. Only $30 for three years. For immediate home delivery, log on to floridasportfishing.com. Enter promo code TV and receive a free shirt with paid subscription. Thank you for watching Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler.